Okay, in my last video I demonstrated how to connect a Logitech MX 5500 Bluetooth keyboard to your Apple iPad. Ideally, Apple would like you to use uh, their keyboard. So, here I have a wireless Apple keyboard, and we're going to try and connect this for the first time. So, the first thing I'll need to do is go and turn on my Bluetooth. So, let's go to Settings, Bluetooth. Let's turn it on. Okay, it sees my Apple wireless keyboard, so let's tap that. Okay, it's going to want me to enter the six-digit PIN to confirm the connection. Okay, my Apple wireless keyboard is now connected. Let's go to the email to compose a message with our keyboard. Works pretty good. And you notice that my virtual keyboard didn't come up, and that's because once a keyboard is connected, your virtual keyboard is not needed, so it does turn it off. If I want my virtual keyboard back, all I have to do is hit this key, the eject key. Not only can I type with the virtual keypad, I can type with my physical keypad. So now I have the best of both worlds. So some of the other features that the Apple Wireless Keypad gives you are controls for your brightness, uh, your volume, and your iPad functions, so or iPod functions, such as play, pause, fast forward, rewind. Right now I'm playing a podcast in the background. So I can pause that, or I can fast forward it. You also have some of the controls you're used to if you if you have a Mac. So, for example, if I'm ty typing a text message and I want to select all, command all works, and command copy works, or command cut works, or command paste works. Caps lock as well. So when I type in all caps, and also tab works. So if you want to tab from place to place. Some things don't work, such as the expose key or the dashboard key. Those are functions the iPad doesn't have, at least yet. All right, well, that's been a demonstration of connecting and using an Apple wireless keyboard on your iPad. Thanks for watching.